facilitating workshops with faculty. Regardless of the type of institution I'm at, or eh, where I'm at, faculty members say their students groan as soon as they hear that they're going to be doing group work. I think one of the issues with students' perception of group work is that we keep using the overall term group work. And group work can mean a lot of different things. I may have students work in intact groups of five to research a topic for months and then give a 15 minute presentation at the end of the semester. You might have students work in groups of four for just 10 minutes and then report out. These are totally different experiences. But if we tell each of the students that they will be working in groups, then the terms get conflated. If my student in my course had a bad experience and then they're going to go work in your class, they may say, I don't like working in groups. This means they start with that negative affect before they even get rolling, even when the group work means different things. So let's not use the global term group work. We could be more specific, tell students they'll be working in buzz groups, problem solving groups, brainstorming groups. When possible, we can drop the name groups. They could be working in jigsaws, teams, pair share squares, or web quests. If we're clear with a nomenclature and what we can use for our teaching, then we'll have a better sense for our students of what the group work really means, which will give them a better sense of what they do like. That's my minute. Thank you for listening.